teaching hospital, I encourage you all to stay, see if you can come up with the diagnosis. Um, and the consultant in Abraham Malik Teaching Hospital is uh, Professor Abu Bakr Winda Tala. So can we bring in um, Muhammad Abbas? Can you hear us, Muhammad? Yes. Great. Floor is yours. Let's hear it. Thanks. Good morning. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity and having me today. It's a great pleasure for me to present right elect for some months in Tropic under the service of Mr. Abakir Dahtallah. Before I start, before I start, I would like to thank Professor Hill and RCSI, Professor Rashid Ahmed Abdullah, the president of Sudan Medical Specialization Board, and Mr. Rashid Kharasid, the president of STOI, and my mentor, Mr. Abakir Dahtallah. I would like to declare nothing to disclose. Right elect fossa mass is the temple of surprises. Masses in the right elect fossa poses a diagnostic dilemma for surgeons. It needs a great acumen and skills. Causes differ based on the organ of origin. Presentation may be vary depending on the nature of the disease. Is it benign or malignant condition? In benign condition, it's associated with abdominal pain, diarrhea, and constipation. In malignant condition, there is feature of anemia and significant weight loss. I will present two clinic cases. I will start to present my first case. A 31 years old female from North Sudan presented ER in district hospital in November 2020 of upper abdo of abdominal pain and diarrhea for one week. She has been otherwise healthy. She was tender in the right iliac fossa and that is the right iliac fossa. In the investigation, leukocytosis of 17, non-positic homochromic anemia, no human level, rest of blood investigation were not. CT abdomen with IV and oral contrast was conducted and refilled and reported as a confidential wall thickening of the cecum and ascending colon with surrounding fat ground. Can I just stop you there, Mohammed? I'm just going to go to the audience. We've got Gazi Ismail here. Gazi is one of our uh, senior trainees. Gazi, you've heard the case. Um, what's your differential diagnosis? Obviously, we'll think about appendicitis. The history is a bit longer than usual, but appendicitis or appendicular mass is definitely a possibility. Um, in Sudan, this could be a related to a kind of um, abdominal tuberculosis presentation, typhoid fever. Um, foreign bodies in the terminal allium can lead to perforations and present with a mass. Um, Do you think that's a foreign body? No, but that's that okay. Just go through the differentials. I don't think this is a foreign body. Okay, what? Put your money on it. What do you think this is? I know you're going to be wrong. I'd say an appendicular mass or a cecal tumor. Okay. Do you want to go for some rarity? Because I can just tell you it's rare. We have a, a, an infectious cause, uh, probably something like tuberculosis of the terminal eye. <laughs> okay. Anyone else want to shout out a diagnosis? Yes. You have to state your nation of origin before you. Uh, so it's a bit long history, you know, and she's otherwise healthy. Uh, I put tuberculosis uh, on top of my uh, differential, but I could go to typhoid fever, although it should be an acute one. TB, typhoid, yeah. Uh, I go to my cause this uh, infection, although it's very, very uh, rare. Um, and on top of all my differential would be a particular mass looking at that. Okay. But you wouldn't put in mycosis infection if you're in Beaumont Hospital. No, that's that's, that's something uh, you know. I would never. I don't think I would, I would see it here in Beaumont. Okay. Amar grew up in Khartoum, so he's biased. Okay, Mohammed, back to you. Let's see what uh, what you got. Okay. Patient treated first as a bendicular mass. She received medical treatment for five days. She get well. After that, due to lack of colorectal support, she was referred to our tertiary unit in Ibrahim Malik Hospital for further assessment. We brought her in for colonoscopy. Colonoscopy was performed, biopsies were taken. There is normal colonic mucosa up to the level of hepatic flexure, where the scope couldn't pass due to circumferential bowel mass. Biopsy was inconclusive. Uh, she presented inflammatory features. After MDT discussion, decision for right hemicolectomy was done. 
the operative finding, large masses extending from the terminal ileum up to the hepatic flexure with multiple nymph nodes. But operative follow-up and event for recovery, its what solid diagnosis was surprising. It is placidio polomycosis, very rare fungal infection, and we come in the discussion. Uh, this imaging, this is slide imaging of the, of the wall of ascending colon. Short, this is zygomocyte fungal hyphae surrounded prominent eosinophils and granulomatous inflammation. Second treatment is antifungal etrocanazole for, for six months. Basidiobolomycosis is very rare fungal infection caused by basidiobolus ranarum. Zygomycosis constitute group of subcutaneous infections caused by filamentous fungi of the class zygomycotin, which are potentially pathogenic to humans. It is commonly found in soil, became vegetables, and GI tracts of amphibians and, and pets. Yes. Presentation it is a great mimicker for inflammatory conditions like tuberculosis and and Crohn's disease, and malignant conditions like, like right side colonic cancer presented with vague abdominal pain, diarrhea, and constipation. Diagnosis can be challenging. Due to non-specific clinical presentation, the resting and mucosal biopsies can show non-specific chronic inflammation. We depend on the diagnosis on his, on his morphology, culture, and nowadays reported in the literature, there is a role of polymerase care reaction, BCR. Management, antifungal treatment, it can as well 200 milligrams for six months up to one year. Surgery indicated only if there is absolute indication in cases of intestinal obstruction or intestinal perforation. Okay, I will see to the second case. Go ahead. Okay. A 26 years old female presented complaint of recurrent aching ideal fossil pain for four years associated with significant weight loss. Which in bowel habits systemic review was unremarkable, no past medical history. Physical examination showed a BMI of 18, F prime, no cervical lymphocytes, and her chest examination was clear. Abdominal examination was unremarkable. All the investigations, normocytic, normochromic anemia, and high DSR was negative. Tumor marker CEA was normal, chest X ray normal. Abdominal ultrasound showed multiple large masses in the right iliac fossa. PT abdomen with IV and oral contrast reported wall thickening of the cecum and ascending colon with adjacent fat stripping and localized small lymph node. Chronoscopy finding irregular mass at iliocecal junction, not occluding the lumen. Biopsies were taken, the pathology was inconclusive. After MDT discussion, patient underwent laparoscopic right hemicolic. Diagnostic laparoscopy found mass in the right in the illusical junction, mobile mass, we start with dissection, medial to lateral approach, combined with lateral to medial approach, this inflammatory feature. Difficult plan dissection, start controlling the vessels, idiocolic artery and vein. After complete mobilization and dissection up to the right branch of the midcolic artery, idiocolic anastomosis was done, operation completed, laparoscopic. Here is the control of idiocolic artery and vein. There is difficult plan dissection due to inflammatory features. The operative follow up and eventful. His pathology report is escasiating granuloma with lung enhanced gain cells. Diagnosis is cecal tuberculosis. Tuberculous cell was prescribed for this patient after discussing with the gastroenterology department. Tuberculosis remains a major health problem worldwide. Sudan has high burden of tuberculosis prevalence of 209 per 100,000, commonly presented with pulmonary 
disease. Abdominal tuberculosis is not uncommon, compromises about 23% of all cases of tuberculosis, and about 12% of cases of pulmonary tuberculosis. Patient may present with obstruction, masses, and endoscopic biopsy has a poor yield. The same tuberculosis remains a great mimicker for Crohn's disease. Differentiation between Crohn's disease and intestinal tuberculosis this is very challenging due to very closely resemble each other in symptomatology, imaging, appearance, and pathology. In the United States, reported case of intestinal tuberculosis mass guarding as Crohn's disease, a case of disseminated tuberculosis of immigrant patient in the United States after, entity, after he received anti TNF therapy for suspected Crohn's disease, patient presented three months later with disseminated abdominal tuberculosis with features of, of, of septic shock and intestinal perforation. Management of antituberculous disease, four drugs for two months, isoniazide, rifambicin, barazinamide, and isampitol, followed by two drugs for four months, isoniazide, and rifambicin. Surgery indicated one leaves is absolute indication for surgery, intestinal obstruction, or perforation. Mortality report is 6% in India, 11% of surgery for acute tubercular abdomen reported in the United States. Take home message. Approach to right direct phosphor mass in tropical areas requires a broader scope of differentials. Early utilization of imaging modalities, serological and molecular studies, whenever available, can eliminate the diagnostic dilemma in atypical presentation. Okay, thank Early you very much. That, that, that's fascinating, and certainly we've learned about uh, basidio bolomycosis, uh, a very certainly never seen in this part of the world. Do we have any idea how does a fungal organism cause such a large mass? That's pretty extraordinary. Is it the mechanical blockage, uh, Mohammed? What do you think is the view on that? Why does it present with such a large mass? The, the transmission, the transmission is, is due to due to ingestion from materials of in, found in decaying vegetables. Then it is chronic inflammatory condition presented mainly in the tropical and subtropical area in in uh, desert uh, in desert area, and uh, it, it need long time. It reported in, in Saudi Arabia and in Iran presented with very huge right iliac fossa mass. Okay. Any questions for our colleagues from Sudan? Yes, Amr? Okay, the question is, could you avoid a right hemicolectomy and just go on with medications on a presumptive diagnosis of TB? Yes. Bit of a harsh question. Now I let the, the chance to my mentor, Mr. Obak, to answer this question. Uh, Professor Hill? Yes. Allah. Uh, thank you. I would like to thank you very much for giving us this chance to present uh, you think regarding regarding the decision to to proceed for uh, a reception, uh, in both uh, the presented uh, uh, significant obstructive uh, symptoms, and uh, as you uh, see in okay. the chronoscopy, there is That's a real of the human. That's justified. It significant obstructive symptoms. There you are, Amar. Back in your box. Right operation done. Okay, can I thank our colleagues uh, from Sudan? And we're just going to move on to our next uh, picture of the week.